Okay, welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, we will be continuing with the, the insert mode keys. Uh, so, up and down, move you up and down across lines. One line down for down, one line up for up. Uh, left and right do the same thing. Uh, left moves you one character left, right moves you one character right. Pretty simple. Uh, there's a slight distinction to make though. Uh, Whenever you use the arrow keys, uh, what Vim does is it actually, it behind the scenes, of course, uh, exit exits insert mode, does the movement, then enters insert mode again. So the effect of this is essentially, say I add some text over here, and then I move down um, to this line, and I move a bit, and I do some editing there. Those counted as two separate edits. Uh, because when I moved, I, end, I I exited insert mode, went to normal mode, then went back into insert mode. So if I undo, it only undoes the text I put on this line. And then undo again undoes the, the, uh, the previous uh, edit there. So uh, that is the something to keep in mind whenever you use the arrow keys in insert mode. Um, so again, if I insert some text and I move with the arrow keys a bit, and insert some more text, those counted as two separate edits, and you can undo them separately. Okay, uh, again, uh, so if you watch here, and I go down, you see it acts as expected, right? But if I do something like uh, enter some text over here, and I do control G down, it moves me down, but it puts me on where I on the column on which I started my edit on. So I started the edit on this column over here, as you can see. So when I move down it, uh, no matter where I was on the previous line, it just moved me down on the, on the previous, onto the next line, and then uh, put me in insert mode on the, the column I started insert mode in. And the same rules apply, so control G down, the same rules apply to control G down in that, uh, these edits across the lines count as separate edits. Uh, so you can do Control G down, or you can do Control G J, or you can do Control G Control J, which are, I mean, you you have plenty of options to choose from there. You can do the same thing with um, up, of course. So if I type something here and I do Control G up, it does the same thing. Uh, control G K, similar thing, but up. And then Control G Control K, similar thing, but on the the line above. Okay, so those are those done. Uh, we also have now. Not all of these keys. I should have mentioned this earlier. Will work for everyone, I guess properly. It depends on what operating system you're on and what terminal emulator you're using uh, with a lot of these keys because the terminals interpret them weird and whatever. So some of the keys I'm going to show you don't actually necessarily work for me and I haven't bothered to try and make them work for me because some of these keys are so obscure that even I don't use them. But uh, so if we do something like shift left, right, it goes back to the previous word. Instead of just a character, it goes backwards. So easy navigation. Uh, shift uh, right does the same thing, but forward. So they act as basically shift left axis B in normal mode. Uh, so I'll show you that B in normal mode does this. So shift left does the same thing. Shift right does the, sh the same thing as W in uh, normal mode. So w, w moves your word forward. Uh, shift right does the same thing. Uh, control left and control right do the exact same things, but again, depending on your your terminal, they might might not work. If I do control left, you can see it basically. I don't know. It annihilates my paragraph there. And if I do control right, similar thing. It depends on your terminal, keyboard setup, operating system, uh, whether or not those will work, and whether or not um, and what solution you have to fix them will be different for. Um, individuals. Uh, so just note, you can either use control or shift, but it might not work perfectly for everybody.
Uh, we also have home, which for me is difficult to reach. I don't use that much. We have home, moves you to the beginning of a line in insert mode, and end moves you to the end of a line in, in insert mode. Uh, you can achieve the same thing with control home and control end. Though I don't know why you'd want to specifically do that. So if I try and uh, control home, uh, oh, that works. But if I try and control end, it does not work. So again, depends on the terminal and your setup. Uh, it's worth note that uh, my VimRC doesn't, for, for Vim, for these videos, my VimRC contains nothing except uh, remapping semicolon to, to colon, which I guess is unmapped for today. Anyways, uh, we also have moving, uh, so if I do page, uh, page down, it, oh, I have to be in insert. Well, it works in both normal and insert mode, but in insert mode specifically, page down does take you a page down. Page up takes you a page up, as you'd expect. But you can also do shift up and shift down, which, uh, so shift up and down with the arrow keys, which do not work for me. Um, they just do not work for me. Uh, shift down does not do anything. And so there's shift up, it doesn't do anything. It depends on your terminal and how you set it up. Uh, but those should work the same. Okay. Uh, we also have control L, which if there's a setting, uh, so by default, Vim is always the default mode is normal mode, but you can set a setting called set insert mode in which the default mode is insert mode. So whenever you open a document, the default mode is insert mode. And if you have the setting on for whatever crazy reason, you can do control L to go back to normal mode to go into normal mode, I guess. Um, it's worth noting with the setting on, I think escape, no, escape does, no, escape doesn't work. It, it, it doesn't take you to normal mode, it, yeah, it does that. Uh, so control L, if you have that setting on, I'm just gonna set it off quickly. So set no insert mode, there we go. Uh, now we also have something a bit, I guess, interesting. So uh, remember earlier when I mentioned if you uh, try and type something, so uh, type, type words, uh, and if I somehow move with the arrows, and I type some more, uh, it counts as separate edits, okay? You can sort of overcome this if you really need to. So if I type uh, some, and uh, say I want to move left and right for some reason. If you do control G U, the movement, it sort of breaks the, the, the bre it stops the breaking of the undo sequence. So, so what that means is, uh, if I type some more text here, oh, well, I guess it didn't break the undo sequence there. My bad, let me type some words here. And I do control G U, left, control G U, right, and I type some more. Uh, huh. One moment, I'm just trying to think of how I can uh, fix. Oh, sorry, it introduces a new, I guess, yeah, a new edit sort of. Okay, it's easier to explain this way. My bad. Sorry for what I was saying. Forget what I said in the past 30 seconds. So if I insert uh, some text over here, and this all counts as one edit. So even if I say, okay, that's that's text over there. If I backspace, backspace, right? And undo, um, since I backspaced um, all in one insert mode, it all counts as one edit, those backspaces. But if I do something like uh, control G U backspace, control G U backspace, control G U backspace, right? Now those all count as separate edits. So that's what that is meant to do. I personally never use it myself. In the docs, it sort of suggests you use it as a sort of remap. So if you really wanted to count backspaces as separate edits, which I don't recommend, uh, you do something like, uh, so I know remap, uh, 
yes, backspace to uh, control control G U and then backspace again, which would map map backspace to control G U backspace. Uh, so now whenever I backspace. It, it does the control G U backspace, which now they count as separate edits. Uh, again, sorry for the mess up. I personally don't use this myself. So uh, you have that. Uh, then we also have, uh, so the left right thing I was talking about earlier was for control G shift U. Okay. So if we have, let's just do it from the beginning. If we have uh, some text that we, we put here, right? And if I, you know, moved with the cursor there, and, uh, well, not the cursor. If I moved with the arrow keys there, uh, whenever I moved, they sort of broke the undo sequence, and now those count as separate edits. Uh, if I do, uh, so if I don't want the arrows to break the, the control, se the undo sequence, I have to do Control G, Shift U, my movement. Control G shift U by movement and insert text. So hopefully, yeah, that all counts as one edit. So if you really are anal about that sort of thing, uh, that's how you would uh, remap. Uh, so if I remap the uh, remap the arrow keys, so I believe it's yeah, left would be the sequence to uh, Control G shift U and then left would uh, pretty much make it so that left whenever you use left it doesn't break the undo sequence it doesn't sort of make the edits count as separate edits so if I do the uh, then I move left uh, that uh, caused <laughs> uh, now if I undo it uh, counts as one edit uh, so yeah I will be covering, I guess, the last set of, no, actually there'll be a, a few more videos on insert mode. There's a lot of specific insert mode stuff uh, Vim has, and I would like to cover them all in detail. So I will see you guys in the next few videos. Bye-bye.